A minute ago, we sent an email to the Kindle from our email address. But you can do this the other way around too. Imagine you have a longer document that you don't want to print out or read on your computer or smartphone. You can send it to your Kindle. Your device's personal email address makes it possible. You didn't even know it had one? Don't worry, many people don't know this. To find out what it is, go to Settings, All Settings, choose Your Account, and there on the bottom you will find your Send to Kindle email. Now before you can start sending, you have to give your personal email a clearance so it is recognized by the Amazon Cloud as a sender that actually has the permission to send. You don't want to be spammed on your ebook reader, right? Your regular mail inbox is enough. Go to amazon.com slash myk and log in if you have to. There, go to Preferences, scroll down to Personal Document Settings. Here you find the headline Approved Personal Document Email List. Add your mail address here. And as you're here, you can also add mail addresses of friends or colleagues whom you want to allow to send files to your Kindle. You can send up to 25 attachments in one email and up to a total size of 50 megabytes. If you want to send more than 50 megabytes, you can compress your documents into a zip file. The Amazon Cloud Conversion Service automatically opens the zip files and converts the contained documents to the Kindle format. So just attach the files to the mail you send to the Kindle mail address. If you're sending a PDF file and would like to take advantage of features on the Kindle Paperwhite such as changing font size and making notes, convert the file to Kindle format by typing convert in the subject line of your message. In case you want to read an unsupported file type on your Paperwhite, you can use free software or apps to convert the documents into a supported format. The best known tool for this is Calibre eBook, a free tool available for PC or Mac, which can convert documents into a myriad of formats. All the documents you send to the Kindle Cloud are automatically saved in your Kindle library online. You have up to 5 GB of storage space available for your documents. As we usually have to pay for every gig of storage online, this is a nice feature by Amazon, that they don't charge, yet. Just one word of caution. Transferring files while connected with Wi-Fi is free. If you own a Kindle with 3G, you're responsible for any charges via WhisperNet to your device. 